You have a huge crush on this girl. She gives you her number after you've asked thousands and thousands of times. And you text her immediately even though she takes hours and hours to reply. You do everything she asks, asks for nothing, absolutely nothing in return. And she leaves you for another guy. I used to be this nice guy. And trust me, this is not a good thing. Because the nice guy is that feminine, weak man that lets himself be pushed around for getting a little bit of woman attention. For absolutely nothing. He gets, he, he allows himself to be pushed around, he does everything for, the, for any girl simply because he's desperate for woman attention and love and intimacy from a woman. And trust me, the guy that's a super big gentleman and does everything for women and is weak and he's always being so needy and replying immediately to a girl, he is not very attractive to women at all. You have to stop being a nice guy and demand respect from women. And I can already hear all those little feminine little boys that are saying like, no, no, you have to be a gentleman and it's okay if you want to, if you, it's okay to be a simp and you should always do anything for women because they deserve everything. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't be a gentleman. No, of course not. You should always be a gentleman. A real masculine man is always a gentleman. And yeah, you should show that woman your love. As long as she's she's been with you and you truly love her, you should completely show her your love. However, you shouldn't allow yourself to be stepped on and do everything for her if she doesn't even give you a tiny bit of her full attention. You must not be a simp. Because simps are those guys that are weak, they're needy, and they're always... That's literally their... All that they care about is, oh, I'm waiting for, for her to sex them. Oh my god, she texted. My, my heart just skipped a beat. Because this is the weird creepy. Because if you, if you are this simp, you will come off as very, very freaking creepy. Trust me, you don't want to be this guy. Simps will just continuously insist and insist and insist on... Talking to that girl that clearly has no interest in them, but yet he'll continue and continue will continue to give her, her his attention, even though she has no interest in that guy. And how do you demand respect from women? Because you must demand respect from women. You do this by becoming more masculine, more confident, and getting your shit together. However, the thing is, is that most guys don't have this nowadays. But how do you achieve this? You must make your intentions clear, of course. Ask her for her number. Like, make it clear that you're interested in her and you want to get to know her better. However, don't always reply two seconds after she barely sent you a message because this will just make you seem like the needy type of guy that all his life revolves around is her attention. And this is not attractive because this just lets her know that you have nothing going for yourself. And it also makes you seem pretty creepy. It probably just means that you're sitting at home, just playing video games, waiting for her text message, waiting for her text message, and your musty ass, crusty ass bed sheets laying on your bed. Don't be this guy. And obviously, and, and you, and in fact, you should even, you should even be, have to be like waiting for a message because you should be focused on your goals because that's what a masculine, attractive man is. He has shit going for him. He has his own stuff going on in his life. His life doesn't revolve around that woman. Like, yeah, if you're interested in her, then yeah, get to know her and show her your love and interest, but don't completely give her your, your attention, especially she if she hasn't given this to you back. This is what a lot of people do wrong. They'll give her the, their all their attention and they'll do anything for her, any favor. They'll literally do their freaking homework and they'll allow themselves to be freaking stepped on. And these girls will just take advantage of them and they'll allow it because they're just hoping to maybe get some love and some intimacy and some attention from these from this woman when she clearly has, all she's doing is taking advantage of you because you're weak and you're allowing yourself to be pushed around like this like i'm not saying that you shouldn't be a gentleman like i said yes if you take her out on a date then yeah pay for the bill be confident don't even ask to split the bill just pay for it and if you don't have the money for it you shouldn't even be going out on a date bro like get your shit together get some money at least before you try and take her out on a date and buy her some stuff and you shouldn't even buy her any stuff if she hasn't even given you her attention at least don't buy her gifts without need like yeah if it's valentine's then yeah get, like get her something that expresses your emotion, but it doesn't have to be an expensive-ass gift. 
because that just shows this it just makes you seem as you're just trying to compensate for your lack of attraction attractiveness with money because you're not that high value of a man so you so you buy her gifts to compensate for the for this for this lack of masculinity and obviously if she is not showing respect demand this from her like i'm not saying be rude but tell this to her if you go out on a date and all she's doing is texting other guys or being on her phone then say this to her be like hey like there's a reason why we're on a date so could you please put down your phone you're not you don't sound rude you, you sound like you actually respect yourself because if you don't this just makes her her that just, that just lets her know that you don't have any respect for yourself and you'll allow yourself to be pushed on by anyone else. And this is not attractive. Because like I said, if you just do this, this will just let her know that whenever anyone tries to push you around in the future, when life gets tough, you will allow it and you won't defend yourself. Confidently speak to her and let her know your intentions. However, how exactly do you go about doing all of these things? By delaying gratification. Sacrificing small pleasures which keep you a weak feminine man and actually becoming that masculine attractive men and then all of these things will follow build yourself up build your physique build muscle lose some fat improve your attractiveness groom yourself better so that way you, you gain these this confidence you gain this this sense of that you're a respectable man because obviously the man that's worked harder he's gonna have more confidence than the guy that just plays around plays video games and watches porn of course he is delay gratification Learn to become a better man. Learn to improve yourself every single day. And all of these things will follow. You will stop being this needy type of guy because then you will actually have goals. Learn to set goals. Learn to focus on yourself. Because then you will actually be the guy that's actually, that actually has a focus and he's not... And his life doesn't completely revolve, revolve on this woman. And this lets her know that you have options. That even though, like, yeah, she's pretty, you know, you have options. Even if she doesn't like you, even if, she, if you get rejected, then it... it you, you should be like unaffected by this. Build yourself up. Build your physique. Build your mind physically. A bit. Make yourself strong physically as well as mentally. And how do you do this mentally? By stepping outside of your comfort zone. Constantly step outside of your comfort zone. In social situations. If you're not very confident, then pretend. Pre like literally fake it until you make it. And you will consistently, like slowly but surely, you will start to build up this confidence in yourself speak to more women speak to more people in general get good with literally speaking to people and then all of these things will follow and you will stop being that nice guy that just that's just weak and let himself be pushed around by literally everyone build yourself up groom yourself read meditate journal do things that a real masculine man does that a real respectable man does because once you do all of these things, all the others will follow. Because trust me, whenever you focus more on yourself, rather than getting these, this one little, this one woman that you think is cute, that you have a huge crush on, women will start seeing you as the more attractive guy without you even trying. Because you'll be focused on yourself. Because obviously a woman likes a man that has goals, that has shit going for him. Because simply imagine that you were to delay gratification, you 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 actually did something for yourself. You stop focusing on this one girl that texted you a million years ago, and you keep on sexing as soon as she, as soon as she asks you if if you're free because she wants you to do her homework, and then you automatically reply. You let her go, and then you focus on yourself. You build some muscle. You start grooming yourself better. You read. You start making some money, so you're actually a pretty high value man now and then you don't even care about women anymore but then they're they seem like they're starting to become attracted to you naturally and you don't even try you don't even care about women anymore so you're happier than you've ever been think about that and do it for your future self